Thank you. Thank you very, very much. We are extremely lucky to have to be here this evening. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Riverton Jazz Band, and we're delighted to be here to uh, play for you this evening. Special thank you to Jeff Whiteley and the Excellence in the Community Program for allowing us to be your house band this evening. Our opener tonight was a Count Basie tune called Seventh Avenue Express. It's from 1946. We'd like to keep the music humming along with a fun little riff chart by Bernie Miller. Please enjoy Bernie's tune. Thank you. That was Bernie's tune. Fletcher Henderson was already a well-regarded pianist and band leader when he took over the staff arranging job for Benny Goodman's band in 1935. Goodman needed new arrangements every week for his radio broadcasts, and Henderson provided much uh, needed charts for that show. The next tune that was adapted uh, by the band leader Lionel Hampton as his informal theme song. Please enjoy. Flying home.
Thank you so much. We are extremely lucky to have as our featured vocalist one of the finest singers in the Utah Valley. When she's not singing jazz, you can hear her with another of her groups. They're called the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. Maybe you've heard of them. <laughs> Valora Arnold is a joy to work with, and I'm sure you'll agree, hearing her sing is almost like being in love. What a rare mood I'm in Why it's almost like being in love There's a smile on my face For the whole human race Why it's almost like being in love All the music of life seems to be Like a bell that is ringing I would swear I was falling Well, it's almost like falling Well, it's almost like being in love Almost like being in love It's be with you this night. Thanks for joining us on this rainy evening. It's fun to see everyone out here dancing, kicking up your heels. You've been working really hard for a little while, so maybe we'll slow things down. How about a little bit of a, a soul tune? There's a great tune by Etta James. It's called At Last. Exactly. It's your chance to cuddle. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life is life. a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to, a thrill that I would never
I found a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to, a thrill that I had never Thank you. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed your cuddle time. It's a good thing on this rainy night. This next tune has been covered by so many famous stars. It's been around since 1931. Billie Holiday sang it. Louis Armstrong sang it. And now we're going to do it. It's a great tune called All of Me. I'm no good without you. Take my lips. I want to lose them. Take these arms. I'll never use them. Oh, your goodbye. You left me with eyes to cry. How can I go on, dear? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Valora. Don't worry, she'll be back. Uh, so <laughs> I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a retired Air Force band guy, and uh, besides directing this mar mar marvelous group, one of the highlights of my career was to play for nine years in the Air Force band over in Germany, which is the direct descendant of Glenn Miller's uh, Army Air Corps band. I fell in, thank you. 
Uh, I fell in love with his music, and tonight's program is kind of a, a mini tribute to Glenn Miller and his music. So we'd like to start off. Please enjoy Glenn Miller's American Patrol. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Glenn Miller's American Patrol. Our next tune was a number one hit for Glenn Miller in 1940, and it refers to a little jazz club and blues club down in a suburb of Birmingham, Alabama. There was a streetcar stop across the street from the club located at Tuxedo Park. Maybe that rings a bell? Please enjoy Tuxedo Junction. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tuxedo Junction. The title of our next tune is actually a, a phone number of a hotel in New York City. Uh, with the end of Prohibition in 1933, many of New York's hotels and ju jazz clubs, or hot clubs, the Cafe Rouge, or Red Club, at the Hotel Pennsylvania was one of the popular clubs, much loved by the members of the Glenn Miller Band. To see which band was playing at the Cafe Rouge, you would probably dial Pennsylvania 6, 5,000. Our next song is a Paul Cole Porter favorite from 1936. It was nomi nominated for an original Song Academy Award that same year and has been performed by hundreds of singers. Probably the best known is by Mr. Frank Sinatra, but then again, you haven't heard Valora sing it. Please welcome back to the stage Valora Arnold to sing I've Got You Under My Skin. Too myself this affair never will go 
so well. But then why do I try to resist when, darling, I know so well that I've got you under my skin. And I'd sacrifice anything, come what may, for the sake of having you near in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats, repeats in my ear. Don't you know? I've got you under my skin. I've got you under my skin And I love you under my skin Who I love you under my skin Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, you guys. Now this next tune, this next tune, I'm going to let you in on like a little bit of, I don't know, gossip on this tune. So this next tune was written by Hoagie Carmichael and Johnny Mercer. And Johnny Mercer was known for writing some really fun songs about birds. But actually, this song about a bird was written <clears throat> possibly, the columns say, for the love of his life, he had a nice little love of affair with a very young Judy Garland. So we're not going to tell, but we're going to sing it. It's called Skylark. to say to me Won't you tell me where my love will be Is there a meadow in the mist Where someone's waiting to be kissed Oh, Skylark Have you seen a valley green with its spring where my heart can go a journey over the shadows and the rain to a blossom covered rain and in your lonely flight haven't you heard the music my night wonderful music faint as a Crazy as a loon, sad as a gypsy serenade in the moon. Oh, Skylark, I don't know if you will find him there, but my heart is riding on your wings. So if you see him, anywhere won't you lead me
if you see him anywhere, won't you lead me there? Oh, Skylark, won't you lead me there? kind of a beautiful love song, isn't it? Okay. This next tune, it's one of my favorites. I love to tell this because it's the first tune that was ever recorded on a talkie. First tune in the movies or on TV with a screen. Al Jolson played it for his mom and it was called Blue Skies. Skies, do I see blue birds singing a song? Nothing but blue birds all day long. Never saw the sun shining so bright, never saw things going so right. Noticing the day. You guys having fun? All right, I think we're gonna take a break. We're gonna do a dance lesson. You guys have been waiting all night for this and it's dry. So we're gonna turn the time over to G Jeff? Jeff Whiteley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of this great band? They'll be back in a few minutes. This is um, the chance to introduce those who make these events possible. This is the Excellence Concert Series, a collaboration with the Gallivan Center and the arts nonprofit, Excellence in the Community. We do these events twice a week through the summer, ending at the first, part, uh, first of October, and then we're once a week, but we continue indoors after that. But let's talk about um, who pays for this. What did you think of the ticket price? Since 2012, all of the Excellence concerts have been offered at no charge. We use the word free because it's quick and easy. The more correct phrase is your tickets have been paid for by Talitha Day and the Gallivan Center, the Salt Lake City Redevelopment Agency, Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall, the Salt Lake City Council, Zoo Arts and Parks, 
So some of this is your own tax dollar coming back to help us out here. Taylor Audiovisual, how about a round for the team doing the sound of the lights? <laughs> Taylor Audio. The Utah Division of Arts and Museums. Larry Miller Family Charities. George S. and Dolores Story Eccles Foundation. Merritt Medical. Dane's Music for the Steinway Piano. And AARP, the R. Harold Burton Foundation the Consulate of Mexico, excellence in the community, and ladies and gentlemen, before I forget, thank you so much for coming on a rainy night. All of this is for you. All of this is to try to make our town better by harnessing the accomplishments of Utah's fabulous musicians. So ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to start the dance lesson from Ballroom Utah and uh, with Anthony Chen, who is a national champion Lindy Hop dancer. It'll be a 15 minute break. Please join uh, the dance instructor, Anthony, for the dance lesson starting right now. Thank you. <laughs> Get up for Jeff Whiteley and excellence in the community and for the Riverton Jazz Band. This is amazing. So I believe we did not have a dance lesson at the very beginning of this, so we're gonna fit three times the amount of fun stuff into this lesson. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a partner dance. This is gonna be a drop-in lesson. So folks who have never danced before or folks who wanna be able to learn some swing dancing, this is just gonna be 15 minutes of getting your feet wet. <laughs> uh, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have partners, but before you actually partner up, we're gonna separate y'all. So we're gonna have all the leads behind me over here on the stage right. If you're a lead, so if you're the person who's kind of like telling the other partner what to do, you can come behind me. We'll just show you the footwork over here. All the follows, you're going to go over there behind Irina Amzashvili, who is also an internationally acclaimed Lindy Hopper. And it's a little dark, so you got to squint a little just to see us here. By the way, uh, we're from Salt City Swing. Uh, we also work and partner with Ballroom Utah, so we're very excited that excellence in the community is having us out here too. So this is what the footwork is going to be. For the leads, you're going to take your left foot, and you're going to take that and take a step behind you. For the follows, you're going to take your right foot and step behind you as well. This is our quick, quick. So this goes like a one, two. And then we're going to do a side to side. We're going to do a slow, a slow, and a quick, quick, slow, a slow, a quick, quick, slow, a slow. This is just called a six count basic, a slow, a slow. A quick, quick, slow. Now, as we're doing this, let's add a few things. One, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of a pulse. The pulse helps us keep rhythm with the music. Ah, uh, ah, uh, boom, boom. Ah, uh, and it also helps us connect with our partner. If we did not do the pulse, it'd look a little more like cha-cha or salsa or Latin, but we're not doing that. We're doing swing dancing. The other thing is we're going to angle our bodies slightly to the band like this. So it's not just facing your partner. We're facing slightly this way. A one, two, three. Let's go a little faster. Ah, uh, a one, two, three, four, five, six. We get that pulse every single beat. A down, down, rock step, side, a side, a rock step, side, a side, a rock step. All right, if you feel like you got this, you can add in what's called a triple step. It's just a little shuffle to the side when you do the slows. Triple, triple, as quick, quick, triple, triple. You can think of it like shuffle left, shuffle right for the leads. For the follows, it's shuffle right, shuffle left. A one, two, ha, ba, da, ha, ba, da. If you're like, this is way too hard, we can go back to the rock step, step, step. Whichever one you want to do, these are interchangeable. They should take up the same amount of time. Y'all with us? Let me hear something if you're still with us. <laughs> All right. Oh, great. Okay. That's the basic. Let's go ahead and connect with their partner. Again, we're fitting three times the amount of stuff. So you're going to unpart the waters. Find someone who is on the other side. If it's someone new, you can introduce yourself. Once you have a partner, let's make a circle around the center here. The center here. If you do not have a partner, raise your hand nice and high. We've got two, I believe you're follows, yeah? Grant, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. And then we've got some space over here close to the band if anyone wants to go over here. A lot of times when we teach lessons, we like to rotate. Tonight we're not going to rotate because we don't have a lot of time. But typically, this is a social dance, so it's nice to be able to dance with a bunch of different people. If you decide that this is something you want to really get into, it's fun to dance socially. So meet people, dance with people. All right. I think you all have partners. Let's try this one more time. If you don't have a partner, raise your hand. We're all set. Oh, sweet. 
But I think you know the basics, though. If you want to find, so we've got one extra follow. One extra follow. Is there a lead? You're good? OK. All right. Um, let's do this. The partnership, how we connect to each other. Leads are going to take your right hand. This is the first test. Raise your right hand. Nice. Nice. Hey, nailing it. I didn't have to be like your other right hand. Let's take that right hand. We're going to put it across the follows back like this. I'll rotate so you all can see. Follows, you're going to take your left hand, and you're just going to let it fall from the sky and rest on the deltoid, on the arm. It doesn't have to be on top of the shoulder. Just where my bulging tricep would be, right here. Nice. And I also see that some of us might know a little ballroom. So I, like a lot of folks are like this. We don't want that. We want to just rest that elbow. We want contact. We want contact right here, yeah? So just a nice, relaxed contact. Leads, raise your left hand. This is easier, because it's the free one. Follows, raise your right hand. We're going to go ahead and connect these two, but it's not going to be a ballroom hand hold up here. We're actually we're going to lower it. So leads, I'm going to think like I'm putting my, I'm holding a cup, but I'm going to put my thumb on top of that right here. Follows, you're going to dip that th your fingers into the leads cup. Dip your fingers into that hot beverage. And then relax that arm down. This is our connection. So this is our closed position basic. Yeah. So let's start from here. We're going to do that whole basic all together again. So it's going to start with that rock step where we're going to take that step leads again with that left foot going back. It follows you're going to take your right step, right foot going back. Let's try it together. See what happens. A five, a six, a five, six, seven, and oh, rock step slow, a slow. Keep that pulse. Rock step slow, slow. And commit that weight to that rack. Boom, bump. So I'm going a step, step, slow, slow. A step, step, slow. And if you're totally nailing this, again, we can add that triple which sounds like a rock step, shuffle step, shuffle step, a rock step, shuffle step, shuffle step, a rock step, shuffle step, shuffle step. If that's a little bit too hard, you can go back to the rock step, slow, a slow, and keep that pulse. Never, never lose that pulse. It is our lifeblood. Ah, yeah, sweet. Give your partner a high five. We're going to move on from here. The next thing we're going to do is called a tuck turn. From now on, I am going to show this without the triple step, without that shuffle. You can put that in there if you want. Just remember, it replaces those slows. So it looks like this. I'm going to turn my partner open as I take that rock step. You can see how Irina is opening her body up a little bit. And then from here, I'm going to give a little bit of a high five. And I'm going to send Irina underneath that little doorway that we just created. This is called a tuck turn. I'll show it from this direction. We've got a one. Two, slow, slow, a rock step. And that rock step is going to be the beginning of the next movement. Yeah? Let's try this. We'll try it all together, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. So starting from closed. Oh, it's raining again. <laughs> now you're really getting your feet wet. From here, we're going to take that rock step, a rock step. Let's high five. Boom. So this is one, two, three. A little bit of a high five. Nice, nice, nice. So it looks like we've all created a little doorway. And then this is the doorway that the follow is going to go through. So leads that hand on the follow's back. Give them a little bit of a suggestion. Don't push. But you're just going to say, hey, this is a good idea. Yeah. Go through that door. And so the follows went through there. They took that step. And then now at this point, we should be able to take a rack step. So follows, your weight should be on your left foot. Leads, your weight should be on your right foot. We're going to rack step away from each other. That's going to be our one. That's is a one, two. Nice. And I see some of us already getting into the next part. Let's go ahead and just finish it off. So we have this one, two. We're going to get back the same way we came. Leads, you're going to put your hand on the follows back. You are back into your closed position. And then you're going to take a rack step. That's the basic. Watch us do it one time, and then we'll try it all together. Check it out. Check it out. We've got the oh, one, two, three. The hand goes up. Five, six. Oh, one. I stretch. Three hand on the back. Five, six. And we're back to our basic. Easy peasy. Kind of. Actually, it's kind of hard. Let's try this all together nice and slow. A five, a six, a five, six. Here we go. We open up, high five, send them through. A rock step, send them back in, hand on the back. A rock step. Nice. This is like a 90% success rate. That is much better than I, than I normally see. Give each other a high five. Now. A few things. Remember those basics, the, the feeling of swing that I was talking about earlier. Who remembers the things that I was talking about before? The pulse, yeah, demonstrating that pulse, yeah? That's really the main thing. 
Um, the other thing, too, is that I'm not facing my partner like this. So you might know, back in like the 1940s, 1950s, Arthur Murray took Lindy Hop and he made it accessible to accessible to like uh, folks that wanted to be in films, right? Because Lindy Hop is actually really devilishly hard to learn. And so that's, if you've seen something like this, this is kind of like East Coast Swing, which is not what we're doing. We're gonna actually, we're using the six count basic of Lindy Hop, which is a little bit more momentum based, right? So I have this backwards movement, I'm using this motion to send my partner down the line, we get that stretch, that stretch is what brings her back in, and we go back here, right? So this is actually how we dance. We're using that momentum, that stretch, that compression, as opposed to ballroom East Coast Swing, which doesn't do it as much. Cool, that's a little bit of history for you. Let's try this again. We're gonna put that pulse in there. So we're gonna do one basic, followed by a tuck turn out, coming back in, and then another basic as a victory lap. You all ready for this? Bam, bam, bam. All right, here we go. A five, six, basic first. A one, two, slow. Here it is, we're gonna open up, high five, it's gonna follow through, a slow, a quick, quick, slow, slow, a quick, quick, a basic, basic, a rock step. Nice, nice, let's do it one more time, reset. The floor is getting a little bit wetter, so please, please be careful. I don't think any of us signed waivers. I sure didn't, so I'm gonna sue if I fall. <laughs> Just kidding, don't get any ideas. A five, a six, a basic, a five, six, a here we go. A one, two, slow, a five, six. Open up, high five, slow, a slow, a quick, quick, slow, hand on the back, slow, a basic, slow, slow, a boom. Nice. And then you can rinse and repeat. So you can keep going out and in from this tuck turn, go back into your basic. If you ever get lost, you can just go back right into that basic from that tuck turn again. I wanna show one more thing before I hand it over because I think we're running out of time. And then also, it's getting very wet here. Whenever we start a dance, what we do, we call this thing called, or we do this thing called a jockey. A jockey like that person who rides the, the horse, right? The jockey is basically us feeling the music. When they start playing, they've got a little bit of an intro. And then for us, we also have a little bit of an intro. So we're going like a boom, a boom, a boom. We're just going back and forth, keeping that pulse. This is how I figure out whether or not I'm on the same page as my partner. I'm keeping that pulse, I'm going back and forth. And here's the key part. Whenever I'm ready to go, I'm just gonna keep moving backwards into that rock step. That's how my partner knows that we're starting. I don't whisper anything into their ear. I just go forward, keep going back into the rock step, step step, and then we're off to the races, yeah? Let's try this all together. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna count off. I'm gonna go five, and when I say five, leads are gonna go to your left, which means follows are going to your right. Nice, nice, you're still with us. So starting with the five, we're gonna go a five, a six, a five, six, keep going back into the rock step, slow, a slow, a rock step, slow, a slow. Nice, rock step, you can keep going into this, let's do a tuck turn if you haven't, a rock step, high five, go through slow, a rock step, slow, slow, a rock step. Ah, nice job, that's fantastic. One thing that I see that's happening with some folks is that we're forgetting that second slow. So if you are feeling like maybe one person is getting off, it's helpful to start saying those words to yourself, yeah? Because this is the basic that you can do the entire time. I'll show you one thing, we won't actually teach it to you, but you can see what it looks like. This entire dance, I can do the same rhythm, which is a rock step, slow, slow. I can do side pass, rock step, slow, slow. I can do variations of the side pass, slow. But the rhythm is always slow, slow. A rock step, slow, sh slow. A rock step, slow, slow. A rock step, slow, whoa, slow. A rock step, slow, slow, right? So you're gonna keep that same rhythm. This is how you're going to make it more muscle memory, and then there's a bunch of different stuff that you can throw onto that if you want to, yeah? As you noticed, I slipped a little, and I'm, I find that I'm kinda good at this. So, you might slip a little too, so be careful. Small steps. We're gonna try it one more time, and we're gonna hand it over to the band. Starting with the jockey, and a five, a six, a five, six, seven, and a rock step, slow, a slow. A rock step, you can do a tuck turn, here we go, a rock step, high five, boom, a boom. A rock step, come back in, and then you're on your own. Because we're not gonna be here when the band is playing. I want you guys to practice this as the band continues playing tonight. If you want to, you can also add in those triple steps, make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. So, 
That being said, I believe we do have to wrap it up so that way the band can get back to playing and you guys can dance with the band. So you are, I imagine, tired of my voice here. Before we wrap it up, we just have a few things to say. One, thank you again to Excellence of the Community for having us. Two, if you're interested in learning more, we do progressive lessons at Ballroom Utah. It's called Salt City Swing. If you go to saltcityswing.org, then you can find out about when that starts. We already started this month's lessons, but if you want to join in September, it's the first Thursday of September. Or you can come find us later if you have questions. Thank you so much for joining us, y'all. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're excited to be back up here to share the second half of tonight's show. Thanks for sticking around. We opened our second set with a wild one from Woody Herman Band back in 1945. 
Our next tune is an arrangement from British band leader Ted Heath, who modeled his band after Glenn Miller's, then added a dry, kind of British sense of humor to his charts. Please enjoy Hot Toddy. Thank you. Our next tune is another Glenn Miller classic that, like American Patrol, was originally written in the late 1800s. I'd like to mention that all of our Glenn Miller arrangements and many of our other tunes are the same versions as those played on the original recordings. We feel it's really important that these wonderful classic music to be heard as it was originally played, and we're very proud to be one of the few bands that has so many of these original arrangements to play for you in our library. So please enjoy Billy Finnegan's arrangement of the Glenn Miller Band version of Little Brown Jug.
Thank you. For those of you not familiar with scat singing, it's a term using nonsense words or syllables when singing of often to imitate an instrument. Uh, the origin has often been attributed to Louis Armstrong when he forgot the lyrics of the tune that he was supposed to be singing. So something like scuba da ba dee ba bee ba da ba you ba da ba da da do da something like that. Thank you. So please say hello to Valora Arnold while she tells you about her affinity for frim fram sauce. I don't want left Greek tomatoes, red ripe tomatoes. I'm never satisfied. Give me the frim fram sauce with the awesome side with the fulfa on the side. I don't want pork chops and bacon that won't awaken my appetite inside. Give me the frim fram sauce with the awesome fave and some fulfa on the side. A girl has really got to eat and a girl should really eat right. Now five will give you ten. I'm gonna feed myself right tonight. Oh no, I don't want fish cakes and rice bread. That ain't what I said. Waiter, I want mine fried. Bring me the frim frim sauce with the awesome fave and some fofa on the side. All right, boys. Say that five times fast, frim fram sauce, awesome fave. I don't know. This is why we need words, because it's not words. All right. Well, this next tune I know you're familiar with. It's been recorded by a lot of people, but Michael Buble brought it back around. And now everybody knows this tune. It's called Feeling Good. <laughs> Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know what I mean. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new light for me. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. 
fish in the sea you know how i feel river running free you know how i feel blossoms on the trees you know how i feel it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life for me and i'm feeling Butterflies out in the sun You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies all having fun You know what I mean Sleep in peace when day is done That's what I mean And this old world is a new world And a bold world for me Once in a while, as a singer, you get to do stuff like that. <laughs> it's the payoff. <laughs> Thank you, Michael, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, let's do another really fun tune. <laughs> it's one of these tunes that Natalie Cole redid, that her dad did. It's a great tune called Orange Colored Sky. Get ready to kick your heels up. I was walking along, minding my business, when out of an orange colored sky, crash, bam, alakasam, wonderful you came by. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, when out of that orange colored view, wham, bam, alakasam, I gotta look at you. Now, one Watch out for flying glass Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out I went into a spin and I started to shout I've been hit, this is it, this is it I was walking along, minding my business When love came and hit me in the eye Flash, bam, alakazam Out of an orange colored sky The ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin and I started to shout. I've been hit. This is it. This is it. I was walking along. 
was walking along, minding my business, when love came and hit me in the eye. Flash, bam, alakazam, out of an orange-colored, purple stripe, pretty green polka dot sky. Flash, bam, alakazam, and go. Thank you, Valora. We're going to return to the catalog of Glenn Miller for another set of three of his classic hits. This first one's another example of taking a folk song, this time from around 1860, and, well, having a little fun with it. The lyrics, roughly translated, are this. Yo, heave ho. Yo, heave ho. Once more, once again, still once more, yo, heave ho. Please enjoy the song of the Volga Boatmen. Thank you. So, although the Glenn Miller Band could really cut loose, they really made their name as a sweet band. They backed a number of vocalists, both featured soloists as well as band members like saxophonist Tex Beneke, who eventually led and left and sang with his own band. Miller's signature sound utilized muted brass and clarinet leading the saxophone section. 
This was Glenn Miller's theme song. Please enjoy Moonlight Serenade. Thank you very much. Wyatt Garcia on clarinet, ladies and gentlemen. We'll end our Glenn Miller set tonight with a song he's best remembered by. Uh, this original 1939 recording has been inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame, Library of Congress National Recording Registry, and without further ado, here is, of course, In the Mood. <laughs>
it. It just makes you smile and your feet can't help moving. I know those of you who are sitting back there, you were moving. You couldn't help it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take things down to a little bit of a burn with a really great Peggy Lee tune called Fever. It's a hot number. Come on. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. When you kiss me, fever, when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Sunlight up the daytime, moon lights up the night. I light up when you call my name. You know I'm gonna treat you right. You give me fever. When you kiss me, fever, when you hold me tight, fever, in the morning, fever, all through the night, everybody's got that fever, there is something we all know, fever isn't such a new thing, fever started long ago. Captain Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair. When her daddy tried to cue him, she said, Daddy, don't you dare, he gives me fever. When he kisses fever, when he holds me tight, fever. I'm his Mrs. Daddy, come and treat him right. to my story here's the thing that i will say chicks are born to give you fever be it fahrenheit or centigrade fever when they kiss you fever when they hold you tight fever what a lovely what a lovely way to burn what a lovely way to burn We'll get a little toasty for you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. For this last vocal tune, we want to do a very famous road. I know you're all very familiar with it. Some of you may have even driven it. It's a great road called Route 66. If you have a plan to motor west travel my way take the highway that's the best get your kicks on route 66 now it winds from chicago to l.a more than two thousand miles all the way get your kicks on route 66 now it goes from safe dago and oklahoma city mighty pretty see amarillo gallup new mexico flagstaff Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingston, Boston, San Bernardino, one of you, get hip to this timely tip, 
fix on Route 66. Thank you, Valora. Well, we started our uh, evening with you with playing the music of the great Count Basie, and we're going to do a little bit more of that now. Basie first started working with the composer arranger Sammy Nestico in 1967, and our next tune was written shortly after that in 1968. Uh, it's one of uh, one of the trademark Nestico tunes for stamp for Count Basie, and this is Hey Burner.
One of the most iconic tunes of Count Basie was this other one by, uh, with a collaboration by Neil Hefty. This is Splanky from the Atomic Basie album. Derek Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. He's been playing that way all night for you. <laughs> Folks, we have sadly come to the end of our program. We've had a wonderful time playing for you. But before we play our final number, we would once again like to thank our sponsors, Jeff Whiteley and the excellence in this community program for hosting this lovely evening. Would you please give them a big hand? We hope to see you again really soon, and we're going to sign off with Count Basie's theme song. In the words of Duke Ellington, we love you madly.
Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of the Riverton Jazz Band? Valora, come on out here. What about the singer, Valora Arnold? Band leader and MC, Lawrence Price. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you'll come back. Now, most of you know we need your help with the chairs. 
Please bring the chairs to the dance floor. Fold them up in stacks of five. If you see chairs back there at the very back and at the sides, please help us. If you see any litter, it helps the Gallivan Center. It helps all of us if you pick it up and put it where it should be. We're so grateful you came. Thank you so much. Excellence in the community. And thanks to you for supporting live music in downtown Salt Lake on a rainy night. Thank you, dancers. Anthony, Ballroom, Utah, great job. Please come back. It's the um, 23rd Army Band next Tuesday night. Another last applause for the Riverton Jazz Band. Thank you so much. <laughs>